Assalamualaikum This is lecture for MIT 529 Lecture 4.1 I'm going to talk here about How to prepare and write job descriptions Okay, this is the situation Imagine this There is a job opening as a medical lab scientist In a well-known and leading hospital The WSY Medical Center Yes, very very popular medical center so one big question, as a future staff, of course, every lab scientist would want to get a job here. What is your main duties and responsibilities? There's a, there is an opening, so what is your job there? And where can you find information about it? And for the employer, how to design the job that they are offering? Okay, first we look on definition of job. Job is the mechanism through which work is done, products and services delivered, and all party ultimately rewarded. That means the worker will get their salary, their pay, and the company, the hospital, will get the best service, hopefully, from the staff. And each job require a specific set of skills, specific responsibilities, and resources in order to perform the work. Let's look on the steps in creating job description. First, start with job analysis. Design the job by performing sound job analysis in order to create job descriptions first let's have a look on the job analysis job analysis is the process where information on tasks workflow and jobs are being collected and analyzed in order to develop job descriptions work standards and performance appraisal Important questions to answer in job analysis. I mean, the things that you need to answer in doing the job analysis is how jobs are designed, who does the work, and what resources are needed to accomplish the associated task. There are nine factors that must be considered in job analysis. They are listed here. The first is working conditions such as the working hours second is the technology we're talking about the technical skills physical ability third is the job specification the qualification the skill and special knowledge needed for the job Availability of labor, we're talking about types of people available and quality of the people that are available in the job market. Fifth, personal interactions, which is uh, talking about degree of coordination required with other people while doing the job. I mean, communication with other people. Legal aspects of it, license, Facility license requirements, those stuff. Workflow. We're talking about time of arrival of work orders and service needs. The work itself, the actual tasks and duties that must be performed and completed to do the work. And nine, the last one, the work process. The steps and timing of tasks that must be take place in the work process. Process from A to Z. There are five techniques for collecting and analyzing information in job analysis. The first one is interview. Interview, we can perform the interview by, we can hire a job analysis to interview the workers, the supervisors, and even customers to get information regarding the job. Second, by observation. Again, the job analyst observe the job holder at work and records what and what it does third questionnaires and checklists 
job holders fill in the givens questionnaire checklist about their work talking job holders is the people that are now working in the lab talk with experts the managers go and talk with experts such as uh, the employees itself manage other managers or peers from other labs and fifth logs or diaries where job holders to record in details their activity each day and the information gathered can use to design and the job writing the job description or JD JD is a document that should contain first the job summary second duties and responsibilities working conditions physical requirements qualifications nature of supervision and performance and evaluation criteria this is very important this way will decide whether or not you get promoted cool let's have a look on a few examples first is in the job summary this is a typical job summary for a lab scientist for MLT performs medical lab tests procedures and analysis to provide data for diagnosis treatment and prevention of disease by performing the following duties and there should be a lot of duties of course example i listed here two duties follows established procedures and evaluates and solve problems related to collection and processing of biological specimens for analysis and second performs complex analytical tests or procedures recognize deviation from expected results and take appropriate action to maintain accuracy and precision and so on so why JD is important first important to the employer the boss first this can make sure staff duties align with company needs so that means we, we hire the right people for the right job JD also can be used in deciding whether we need to give the worker training and development performance management salary consideration how much they should be getting paid and hiring decisions so let's return to the first scenario congratulations you just got hired in the WSY medical center and as a staff again in your first day or before you join you need to know what is your main duties and responsibilities what is your work what is your job here those things should be stated in your JD. JD is an official document. And why JD is important to you, to the employees? JD will establish the authority for you to do the job and set the boundaries and limitations of your responsibilities. What does that mean? So the question is, what if you were asked to do things they are not in your job scope not your work so jd will be the official the legal document that you can use to show to your boss that look here these things that you are asking me to do is not stated in my jd so jd is the legal document here is the reading for this lecture. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.